Hey Cal students, I hope you're all enjoying that beautiful weather and finishing up those midterms. From a new earthquake warning system to free medical care in Oakland, we've got the latest on everything Berkeley. I'm Tess Bredesen. And I'm Brittany Tom. The Berkeley Beat starts now. On April 5th, leading seismologists met at UC Berkeley to discuss the establishment of a new earthquake warning system on the West Coast. Costing $80 million, experts say they could have a system within five years that would provide as much as a one-minute warning in California. Though this may seem inadequate, news from the recent quake in Japan reported that a similar system saved thousands of lives and prevented millions in damage. Did you know you could receive free medical and dental care in Oakland? Well, we have correspondent Amanda Vigil on site at the Oakland Coliseum. Amanda, what can you tell us? Thanks, Brittany. I'm at the Oakland Coliseum where close to 1,000 people from around the Bay Area have flocked here to receive free medical, dental, and vision services. People have been waiting since parking lots opened 12 last night, and numbers were issued to both children and adults 3.30 this morning. School people really need some help. Even after the fully implemented Obama health reform, Medical professionals and volunteers from the Bay Area and across the country have come to do whatever they can to support the weekend-long event organized by the 25-year-old association, Remote Area Medical. Well, uh, I founded the organization actually to provide free health care in the third world. And now, in fact, most of the work we do is here in America. Many other nonprofit organizations, including several from UC Berkeley, have responded in large numbers to this national crisis. We had to turn away volunteers today, uh, you know, general volunteers. So, I mean, that's a that's a, a really great problem to have. With an organization called Volunteers for Medical Outreach, we're an organization on the Cal campus uh, dedicated to serving uh, underserved populations. RAM will be in Oakland until Tuesday, April 12th. And with the large number of uninsured living in Alameda County, it is sure to be a very rewarding but busy weekend. For Cal TV, I'm Amanda Vigil. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Amanda. Students voted on an initiative this past week to phase out the sale of plastic water bottles in vending machines and in stores on campus. Let's see what the coalition who proposed the initiative has to say. The initiative itself is actually more of a statement of support than anything else. It doesn't have teeth, but it's asking if students support the idea of phasing off bottled water from campus. But what are the environmental concerns of water bottles? The biggest problems that I can think of is the waste issue after water bottles have been mm -hmm. disposed of. 86% of water bottles in America do not end up in a recycling bin. Many worry that the revenue generated from water bottles will decrease funding for the ASUC. The short-term revenue losses that could arise from this I really ask everyone on this campus to think about what the uh, long-term gains are for the campus to still be leading the way. In other news, this past week was Suicide Awareness Week. With an average of three suicides annually at UC Berkeley, one of which occurred just last week, this event couldn't come at a more appropriate time. However, Suicide Awareness Week isn't the only support available to Cal students. There are numerous other resources, such as the Tang Center and Counseling and Psychological Services, that operate year-round to provide resources around these issues. And some good news for baseball fans. The UC Berkeley baseball program will continue to compete next year as an intercollegiate athletic sport. This comes in spite of earlier announcements that due to lack of funding, the team would be reinstated as a club sport. After significant philanthropic pledges these past few days, the team raised over nine of the $10 million goal that was set earlier this year. Chancellor Bergeno announced in a campus-wide email that the sport will remain intercollegiate. And I hope you all voted in last week's ASUC elections. I know I'm looking forward to the results. <laughs> I know I'm anxious to find them out as well. Well, that's all we have for the Berkeley Beat. And tune in tomorrow for Freena Flores' CalConnect on the YWCA. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.